Celestia did an edge job in 2023 and till now we've seen it scale new heights in token value because of the quality of its product and the solution it's brought in the ecosystem. Now we have a similar project that is currently on its testnet phase and is looking to do a job to participants. So stick with me as I take you through the guide on how to participate. Hi, this is V Morgan. Welcome to the channel. Please do well to smash the subscribe button if you like this content. Do well to also share this video to somebody that it could help. Right here I have a tweet from CryptoFill talking about the Avail project and how you can get engaged with the testnet okay they also talked about an introduction to avil avil and celestia comparison and all of that well the basic difference between avil and celestia is that avil uses zk technology while celestia relies on the optimistic mode of operation avil clash of nodes in certified testnet was launched way back in november 7th 300 validators were chosen there's no point having to Okay, um, participate in the clash of nodes if you are late to it. But what you can do right now is to complete the testnet task. But what you can do right now is to complete the testnet task. Somewhere in their roadmap, they stated that mainnet will launch in quarter one, 2024, and that's the period we are in. And today they put out a tweet saying, us on the way to mainnet launch soon. So it's coming sooner than you expect. Take action ASAP. Now, getting started with the testnet, everything you need is going to be right here in the link channel of the discord server link is going to be in the video description though but then this is the explorer that we are going to be exploring okay over here in the testnet and then you are going to need faucet you have to come over to faucet access and then you need to verify your passport okay now there's an extra layer for you to be able to claim faucet and you have to go to password verifier.avio.tools okay but the first thing you have to do before that is to go over to the explorer okay what you want to do is you want to create an account now in creating an account there is already provided for you a wallet address a mnemonic seed over here that is covered though i'm not going to use this okay and then all you need to do over here is to confirm that you save your mnemonic um, seed okay now you want to ensure that you save this in a safe place but something else you can do if you're like me that already have a polka dot um wallet extension you can actually import your your um dynamic seed over here okay so instead of creating a new account you can import your seed over here and continue using it i'm going to import mine right away i've provided my dynamic seed over here and i'm going to tap on next now i'm going to enter a name and the password once you provided your password you need to tap on next and then save as you can see over here a file is going to be downloaded so you can do well to save that in the secured folder you're done creating an account as you can see one account is created over here now with your account here on goldberg there's a ton of things you can do over here you can tap on your name and now you have a right uh, section over here where you can send tokens and also copy your address to receive tokens now we want to go on to claiming faucet for us to test the network and as you can see over here in the discord it says to begin verification go to passport verifier.avail.tools okay so over there you want to connect wallet and you're going to be connecting to metamax it's advisable that you connect to your most active wallet because that's going to have more interactions and it's going to position, give you a better point with Gitcoin Passport. So I'm going to tap on next and next and connecting and then I'm going to sign this. So it says submit Gitcoin Passport. Now for those of you that do not have a Gitcoin Passport, a Gitcoin Passport has a lot of credentials that verifies your humanity and proves that you are not a bot via your wallet interactions and your social presence okay so um you can tap here to do all of that okay to create your gitcoin passport verify as much as possible but know that you have to have a minimum of 20 points for me i have about 32 points so i'm going to submit my gitcoin passport over here I'm going to sign this and as you can see all right i have 30 points okay not 32 so once i have this okay uh, i'm going to connect this code tap on authorize and as you can see wallet address connected discord connected and then passport shown over here so i'm going to tap on give rule congratulations you may close this window now good so i can close this I'll go over to Discord and then I now have access to the Goldberg faucet. So I'm going to tap on this and then 
I'm going to submit commands just the way everybody has been submitting commands over here. Now enter slash deposit and then select this. Go over to your um, explorer, copy your address over here and then go back to the Discord and enter the address over here. It's showing the status pending. I've received five AVL tokens, okay? Um, so we're just going to get started with testing um, all of this, yeah? First thing I want to do is want to test the send feature, okay? So what I will do is I'll quickly grab an address right now. You can go over to the Discord account, okay? And find any address over here. And you can also get an address on the Explorer. I'll show you how to do that. I'm just going to use this one. I previously sent this on okay tap send so you're sending from your main account to um, enter a new address here you come here tap on this and then you provide an address over here okay so that's good um, you can send an amount something 0 0.5 or whatsoever okay and then uh, you make transfer enter your password and then sign and submit okay so beautiful as you can see it, it's gone already and my balance has reduced so you've tested out the send transaction and you've also sent tested out the receive transaction by um you know copying your wallet address sent to somebody to send to you too and you can repeat that process over and over again good so the next thing you want to do is you want to also set an on-chain identity okay you want to set your on-chain identity what this means is that it's like you're creating an id for yourself right here on um, avio so you want to um include field first of all and then you enter your legal name enter your email address okay if you have the website or something you put that in if you have a twitter put that in and then your discord and what's the riot's name i don't know what that is but then you can put that in and then you set identity I've provided all the required details over here and I'm going to set identity. I'm going to provide the password again. Sign and submit. Now, in authorizing this transaction, you have to know that you would have to use 402 micro AVL tokens. So, um, this would not work for me. Okay. As you can see over here, it would not work. As you can see, balance is sufficient. So, I'm going to leave that. But just note that it's something you have to do as soon as you have sufficient balance. Okay, so next thing you want to do is go over to network and under network, you go to staking. Okay, now we want to actually stake some of our AVL tokens. Here are a list of validators, including their stakes and commissions and all of that. They are going to be staking too. Okay, so you come over to pool over here. Now you can choose any of these ones for you to um, provide um uh, for you to stick to okay so you can select on this one and as you can see this is the account that will be joining the pool and this is this over here is the initial value to assign to the pool okay it is set to the minimum value required to join the pool now you have to note that um you have to have a minimum of 10 okay okay 10 avl for you to join this pool or any other pool so as soon as you have the funds enough um you can join now, there's something here. I don't know if it applies to those for class of nodes or just generally with the testnet participants, but then you have to note that regular engagement is necessary. So as it says over here, it says participants are encouraged to engage with the challenge daily, the daily acquisition of tokens from the faucet and subsequent transfers cultivate consistent participation so you advise on a daily basis to go over to the discord to claim more avl tokens okay now this will ensure that you're actually active and okay and you are actually not a bot okay now um something else you want to do after staking is that you can come over to treasury tap on tips now, you can add a transaction by proposing tip. So you have to enter a tip reason over here. Um, um, for example, you can say test the network, okay? Um, just say give whatever reason for the tip and then you propose tip, okay? And then you sign and submit. Now, these are some tips proposed by um, others over here. All right, beautiful, as you can see, the tip is already done. Um, 
So one thing you can also do is you can also um, tip some people over here. Okay, for example, I tapped on this guy and then you can actually send, um, uh, you know, you can send whatsoever to the person, say 0 0.1 or whatsoever amount of AVL you are interested in sending. Now, beautiful, this is done already, okay? Something else you can do is to come over to bounties, okay? As you can see over here, there are already 333 bounties. You can come over here to add bounty. I've provided a bounty title and a bounty requested allocation amount of 50 AVL over here. You can use a server amount that you feel suitable, okay? And then you're just going to add bounty and sign transaction. All right, as you can see, bounty is successful and you can see it over here. Now, something else you want to do is you want to go over to Explorer, okay? Um, at the Explorer, you want to view uh, recent events, uh, recent blocks and all of that stuff, okay? So, for example, you can view a block, but there's really nothing much you can do over here. All you just need to do is to view the block and, you know, just you know, explore, okay? Just explore the entire um explorer and i think this should actually position you at a good spot for the edge job okay we have come to the end of the testnet tag so do well to do all of the tags and remember always claim faucet on a daily basis now bluestar bms put out a tweet on the testnet that you should do currently all of them cost zero dollar they include satoshi vm testnet reform testnet pika bearer chain Outlay and nitrogen test names. All of them videos are going to be on this channel, so do well to smash the subscribe button, turn on the post notifications so you don't miss out on any of these test nets. Thanks for watching this one, guys. It's not about watching, do well to take action ASAP, and I'll see you in the next videos.